Hey guys, we are going to be doing a slime video. So let's get on with the video. So this particular slime I have right here is out from this empty container of Compound Kings. It's very pokeable. And then it can be, it's not as stretchy, but I really love this company. It's actually pretty stretchy. So I, out of a 1 to 10, I give this... 11 but we're keeping it in there so I give it a 10 very great slime now we'll just put it in this easy to use container and close the lid and put that to the side next is we and you can I don't know where I got this I got it for Christmas but okay I got it from Santa so I don't know and here is this egg that I got off of Amazon I don't know who made it, but whatever it is, yeah. So first you just open this egg, put the containers off to the side. So here it is. Let me do the stretch test first. Not super duper stretchy. Now let me do the poke test. So let me just flatten it. The poke, it passed the poke test, but not the stretch test. Like it doesn't even stretch. If I give this a one to 10, I would give it a five. But you can go like this, so I mean, I mean, I'll give it a five and a half. That's as high as I go. But it is super hard to get it back in the container when it makes that noise. So it is super duper hard to get in the container. But I tried my best. So let me just close that container. I got it in. But the one thing I am happy about is it came with this stand the egg in here so it's super cute oh adorbs so next up is this slime that I have made I'm gonna roll my sleeves up this is really gross like not the slime itself but you know I'm getting it out of the bag I'm just going to get a little out of the bag. So this is my slime. Let's see if it passes. Definitely passes the stretch test. It's a little sticky. I won't lie. Does it pass? I need more to... I'm going to try to get it all out. some more out and some more but that's probably all I'm going to be able to do so let's try the poke test it's too sticky pass is the poke test out of a 1 to 10 since it's a little sticky I'm going to give it a 9 put it back in this bag okay next and this was made with Elmer's Magical Liquid Crazy Art Glue and some Make It and Bake It leftover beads. Next up is uh, this sparkly slime that I need that looks exactly like my Compound Kings. 
And I did make this out of a kit um, at my friend's house, which her YouTube channel is Brooke Mackowitz. Go her, check her out. But we use the Nickelodeon slime thing. So here is this slime. Let's see, does it patch the stretch test? Gotta get full arm's length. Passes the stretch test. Okay. So that's great news. Let's see if it passes the poke test. And. Yeah. I mean, I'll give it half the percentage. But this slime is super cool. And it is clear. And glittery. Oh. I would give this a 7. Half out of ten. There's my slime back in the bag. Here is one that I did make, which also looks exactly the same. This one I made out of a kit and just yeah. I didn't make this with a kit or anything. I just made this by myself. The glitter I did get out of a kit though. For uh, the other slime I have, but that one I made with my friend, Brooke Makowitz. I also made this one with Brooke Makowitz at her channel. And I also, I also made both of the, I made the other slime with, um, Unicorn Squad. Which is Addison, which has been on her channel before. In fact, she was the role of the customer at my squishy shop number three. So, here's a slime. Super glittery. It's a little sticky, so let's stretch it out. Passes that. Now my hands are going to... So, this is actually made of shaving cream. Which, that's my hands smell a lot like shaving cream. Um, saline solution. And glue. No, not sailing solution, just glue and shaving cream. And glitter. Don't forget about the glitter. So, let's see if it passes the poke test. Definitely passes the poke test. I give this, uh, out of all of my reading, a 10. So that by far is all my slime that I have right now. Um, so I'm going to do my subscriber shout out. So I'm going to subscribe to, I'm going to give my subscriber shout out of the day to at Addison at Unicorn Squad, which has turned my bell on and has liked a lot of my videos and tells people about my YouTube and have subscribed. So thank you Addison so much at Unicorn Squad which link will be in the bio. Well at least her name. I don't know how to link things yet because I'm only 10 but I will put her link in the bio. So go subscribe to her. You know what? Hang on a second. I just need to do something real quick. Hang on.
So, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, hit the bell, and which is the same with turn post notifications on. Subscribe, and so I'm trying to figure out the names which I do for my to call my subscribers and people who fo like to watch my videos, which I don't know. I'm having a hard time. But if no one comments which one they like better, I'm just gonna, you know, not, you're, I'm just gonna choose myself if no one comments, but they should, I could should call my people. So let me write down my names. I have four names for us to choose from. Okay, so I have four names. You guys are going to type one, two, three, or four. So, the number one is the Baxters, because my name is Becca, so Baxters. Number th two is the Parrots. Number three is the Geeks, and number four is Lovebirds. So, comment which one you like the best, and I'm just going to repeat that. Number one is the Bexters. Number two is the Parrots. Number three is the Geeks. Number four is the Lovebirds. So, comment which one you like better, and even if I do get one comment on which one, we will cut. I will decide it. But try to, if you guys watch it, and even if you're a hater, just please, just comment. One, two, or three. One, two, three, or four. 